Hello and welcome to Guidance for a Better Life. Today I have a friend of mine and author. Her name is Michelle Hishman and she's going to share a beautiful story how a very important prayer in her heart was answered. She had a very dear friend struggling with a cancer a long ways away and it was impossible or virtually impossible to visit and she wanted to send love and God found a really nice way that Michelle could answer her prayer by sending love to her friend, even though she didn't technically travel. So I hope you listen. Hi, Michelle. Hi. How are you doing? Good. So you had a, fr a dear friend that had um, had cancer, mm -hmm. and then it was in remission. And I guess, how long later when it came back again? Quite a while. It was probably about 15 years or so. Okay, so it looked like everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Was the second time... This was pretty serious. Yes, right? very serious. Did mm -hmm. she end up passing? No, no, oh, she she's didn't. fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's a whole other story. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. But during this time, you were a long ways away from her. Mm -hmm. Actually, before we get into your particular story, I'd like to know more about her. Mm -hmm. In your book, and you wrote this story in Visiting God's Love, our Testimonies to God's Love, book one. And I'm not sure what chapter you're there. 21. 21, mm -hmm. cool. Um, why was this person so special to you? Um, she was a very close family member. So we, um, when I was a teenager, we grew up, um, the two families lived right next to each other. We lived okay. on a campground together. Um, so she was a very, very close family member. You said in the book you called her an aunt mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you looked up to her. Yeah. Was she I older than you? Yes. Um, I was the age of her children. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, so... Yeah. Even though you weren't blood relatives, she was important in your life. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So she was actually my brother-in-law's sister. So oh, okay. extended family. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But you really love her, and Very you looked much. up to her, and you had a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. You were right in the middle of raising your children and a long distance away, mm -hmm. and practically speaking, it just you Wasn't just could okay. not go visit her. But she, did she end up in the hospital for a while? She did, and she was doing chemotherapy treatments. Oh, wow. um, it was a long, long process. And um, she was a, is a widow so she um, okay. and has a disabled son. So she really needed some help and some support. And a lot of okay. um, family members and friends were coming to help her. So I was thinking of her. I was thinking of them because that's quite yeah. a responsibility for her family. Yeah, in your story, you said all these people that mm -hmm. you, mostly you knew mm -hmm. were helping. Yeah. And it sounded like you really wanted to help also. Yes. And help not just to help, but to demonstrate your love for her. Yes. And how much you loved and respected her. Mm -hmm. But the distance was a, a problem. Mm -hmm. I guess if you abandoned your kids and your husband <laughs> and your career, right. you might have been able to make it. But it wasn't practical at that time in your life mm -hmm. with very young children. So, but the way it said in the book, it sounded like you wanted to visit. It was very much a prayer in your heart. Mm -hmm. And you also really wanted to let her know you love her and show your love. Yes. Now, before you, you had this special thing God did for you, which is beautiful, you tried in other ways. How did you also, how did you connect with her before this special thing we're going to talk about? So phone calls, um, sent my, had my kids draw pictures okay. and just things like that, that, you know, letters. Um, so if you were reaching out, mm -hmm. she knew you cared. Yeah, but just didn't feel like quite enough. It wasn't enough. No, I, was, I was not expressing what I wanted to express. And, okay. You weren't saying And I wanted to see her. Okay. I, I really wanted to see her. All right. So yeah. this is where the story gets really interesting, how God blessed you. Mm -hmm. And he can do anything. Absolutely. So what <laughs> happened? You came up here to a class mm -hmm. at the Nature Awareness School. I forgot how many years ago this happened. Probably about two or three. Two or three yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. And would you explain to the audience what, how God answered your prayer in a different way. You didn't get an airline, but you got, I think you became satisfied mm -hmm. and you felt at peace with the situation. Yes. Well, would you share what how that went that weekend? So I was up at the Nature Winter School for a class, for a week-long class. Oh, and really? I didn't like really? verbalize this prayer, but it was a prayer in my heart. I, I really, I just kept thinking about her and, you know, hoping she okay. was okay and everyone that was helping her because you know it's a, it's a taxing thing to take care of someone for a long period of time yeah. and um, so I just kept thinking about everyone and um, went to sleep one night and had a dream and she was in that dream and that um, I had several but that first one would have been what she looks like today and I, okay. I got to see her spiritually in a dream 
Um, was this husband. just like a pink elephant? You sort of saw an image, no. maybe an old picture of her. Was this literally this, she you was were there. with her? Yeah, just she literally. was there. We hugged. So it's really, and could you actually feel the mm -hmm. hug? Mm -hmm. Could you smell her? Yeah. And, yeah. So it's not just the dream that a lot of people think about. This is, this is a real experience the divine allowed you. It was made more, way more than a pink elephant yeah. and some weird stuff you had to figure out. It was mm -hmm. very literal, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Not just a picture or going, you know, sending a picture. It was she was there, we were there, and we actually were able to give and give each other love. And, was she surprised to see you? Yeah. <laughs> She's really happy. Um, okay. She's really, I mean, she was going through a lot of things physically, but in that dream she was smiling and you know, just sparkling. I mean, she yeah. was happy. Okay. I think that they had a series of them that week. Yes. So they kept coming. <laughs> okay. That's one. Yeah. And you actually hugged. Mm -hmm. She was happy to see you. Mm -hmm. um, and then there were probably two others where there were the other family members. And some of them were set mm -hmm. back in time, like we were back living next door to each other. Okay. Um, and just kind of hanging out on the back porch kind of thing. Like the just, good old days. yeah, it was more memory, you know, kind of like positive memories I would have had from them, but it okay. was, we were there, you know. And it seemed very real. Just very real. Because there's dreams, some people have dreams where they're real fuzzy and there's funny characters or pink elephants or whatever. And you kind of have to interpret that, mm -hmm. which is sometimes worth the effort. But this was beyond just that. This was like you actually spiritually, a soul, God arranged that you could go and literally hug. Yes, very much so. It was like viscera. It was, it was literal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, so that was the second dream. So he had current time and then kind of, go, like God rewound mm -hmm. the re, the time track mm -hmm. and he went back and experienced childhood. Mm -hmm. Was there a third dream? There was a third dream and it was very short, just a snippet, kind of like okay. present day again, where like my family, like she was... Um, here with me and my children. Oh, your husband yeah. and your kids. Mm -hmm. oh. Which was really neat. And um, and actually, they came to visit um, last year. <laughs> and we hadn't, them. right, I hadn't seen them in years. And so it kind of covered all bases. Yeah, so you got yeah, to see really her neat. current time, mm -hmm. go back your childhood, those memories, mm -hmm. and then she got to come visit your family. Yeah. So wow, freaking flyer. More than I asked for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was really neat. Now, speaking of asked for, you didn't literally do a formal prayer. No. You didn't sit down and maybe hew like we do mm -hmm. and ask to visit or have arrangements made so you could fly out or anything. But why would God answer a prayer if you didn't actually pray? Because he loves us. He loves, he loves us yeah. and he loves each of you out there. And he knows what's in our heart. And even if you don't verbalize a prayer, if it's something good for you and it's something dear to you, often God, I believe, and it's our experience up here shows he takes that as as a prayer. Yeah. That's really a gift of love when you don't even have to ask. He just knows something that you wanted very much, mm -hmm. and he granted it by literally allowing you a soul to go visit. It was really more than a dream. It's almost like mm -hmm. spiritually traveling, which he can do, of course. So very cool. Yeah. So I didn't actually know from the story if she survived. Yes. And she came to visit. She did okay now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Neat. Is she de still a dear friend? Yes, <laughs> very much so. so. Do you feel that you were able to ex visit, apparently? Do you feel also in your story you said you wanted to express love to her? Yes, very much so. So even though you didn't verbalize the prayer, God took what was in your heart as a prayer. Mm -hmm. And you feel, it, the question is, that sound wonderful, but did it scratch that itch you had? Yes. Very much so. And that's a way that's a way you know if something's real. If you're not sure you have a dream that's real, but if it scratches the itch or that need that you had, mm -hmm. that's a good indication it was actually real. Mm -hmm. And of course you know that because yeah. you've had a lot of experience. It's like a dreams. closure with that keep having her on my mind. And she was still on my mind, but yeah. not in that I need to reach out way. So it satisfied mm -hmm. you almost as if you, you yeah. flew out to meet her. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty real. It was amazing. Thank you. Is there anything uh, else you'd like to share? I just, that dreams are real and God loves us. I mean, God loves amazing. you and that's why he did that for you? Yes, absolutely. You absolutely. He knows what's in our heart. He does. And even without expressing a dream, if it's in your heart and it's something good for you, pay attention. Your prayer just might be answered, whether it's vocal or not. 
So thank you very much for coming today. And uh, I hope this blesses each of you. And God really loves all of you. He loves all of us, his children. And I hope this show blessed you today. Thank you.